So now, y direction. Okay. Looking at this free body diagram again, okay, let's pick out all the forces in the y direction. So now we have normal force. Well, let's make first right now. Sum of forces y equals m a y. So left hand side, we have normal force in the positive y direction. And what else? You have negative of wy, right? This component right here, right? And that's all. Right hand side, since there's no acceleration in the y direction, it's not firing off the uh, conveyor belt, right? So right hand side is zero. That's all. So now we can combine these two equations together now, okay? So again, the Unknown here is acceleration. Okay. So now let's further expand this. That hand side S F U K normal force minus W X, which is M G, and then is it, this is 15 degrees, so so this is 15 degrees as well. So that's Cosine 15 degrees. Okay. Oops, sorry. This is x component, so this is sine 15 degrees. Okay. And right hand side, m a. Okay. So, call this equation one. Okay. Now for this equation. Simply move this term over. So wy is mg. Okay, w is cosine 15. So mg cosine 15. Cut equation 2. Now bring 2 into equation 1. Right? Combine these two. So now we have um, uk times n, which is this right here mg cosine 15 minus mg sine 15 equals m a, the unknown. Okay. Now this is right here. We can simplify a little bit, right? m, m, and m drop out of this equation. Okay. So, rearrange this. Write the unknown on the left hand side. And move everything else to the right. Now, so get A, and then so everything else really is just OK. G cosine 15 minus G sine 15. OK, look at this equation right here. Notice anything special about this. This is the unknown, the acceleration of either particle. Now, it is not a function of mass at all. The mass drops out of the equation. Okay, so it's independent of mass. Independent of mass. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Okay. All right, so now we have this result right here. So apply this to either particle and get the answer. Okay. So let's do that. And to apply that to particle A first. So particle A, so we have A A equals mu K of A times G times cosine T minus G sine fifteen. Bring in a number, so mu k of a is given as 0.3 times 9.81 times cosine 15, and then minus 9.81 times 15. Now I crunch numbers. Okay, calculators. A a turns out as 0.304 meters per second squared. Okay. Same thing for particle B. A, B, plug it in, do the same thing, and 
turns out to be 0 0.493. Okay. There we have it. A A and A B. Now compare these two. These two numbers. Are the assumption that you made earlier correct? That is, we assume that A B is greater than A A. Yes. Indeed, A B is greater than A A. Therefore, assumption is correct. The result is correct and they're acceptable. And that is it.